My name is Richard Harris. I'm pleased to be uh, at the Welcome Collection uh, presenting my collection of art, the Richard Harris Collection, uh, Death, uh, Self-Portrait. The collection started with my interest in human anatomy, uh, both prints and uh, books of uh, 17th and 16th century. Uh, I didn't find enough material that was really wonderful that I thought I'd like to collect. And so I narrowed that down a bit to skeletons and skulls of the human. The uniqueness of the collection is, the, is its breadth and, and depth, both. Uh, I, I wanted it to be not only not a trophy collection only of masterpieces. It was to be, uh, in my mind's eye, a collection of, of ob objects that are of inconsequential value even, of ephemera and vernacular photographs to great wonderful masterpieces of sculpture and prints and drawings and paintings. The first thing was an inadvertent purchase of the, uh, uh, the Nuremberg Chronicle, uh, dated 1493, uh, not too many years uh, after the Gutenberg Bible and Gutenberg creating the, the, movable, the movable press. Uh, I bought this as a book, uh, not realizing at the time that, that death was going to be a, a thematic part of my, the, the main theme of my collection. But the great print, one of the great prints is a dance of death in that volume. That is uh, one of the earliest uh, dance of death uh, images maybe ever printed. Well, the dance of death was a, a, an art historical uh, happening in the 14th century, probably even around that time in France. Uh, the idea that death takes us all, whether we're the king of, of, of the world or the, or, the, or the poorest person in the world or the pope of, of the church of, of, uh, in Rome. So death is, is, is this universal, uh, non-discriminatory uh, part, of, part of life and part of being. We all will die. There are very few things in the collection that are morbid and very depressing, I think. I think maybe the, the hardest part of the collection to visit would be the war, the war section, and the Otto Dix and some of the uh, Goya pieces, uh, which shows the, the, the horrific actions and, and, and results of war and, and, and human, on human being. Otherwise, I think the collection, there's some comical parts to it and there's some interesting parts otherwise that aren't necessarily or at all depressing or, or uh, morbid in, in, in a true sense of the word. My persona, as people see it and take it, is very ebullient and very happy and very, very nice. And they wonder where death uh, comes into that part of my, my personal being. And I think of it as two separate parties. And, and the, the fact that the, my enthusiasm and passion is the collecting aspect of it. And I'm thrilled by finding wonderful, different, unusual objects to, uh, to be part of the collection. I found in, in, its, in its earlier iteration at the Chicago Cultural Center uh, that ended in July 8th of this year, that in the course of my wandering through and, and visiting or revisiting my collection, people, I found people having conversations about death, about family, uh, people who've died, friends who've died, or people who are dying. And I thought that this visual collection of art could, be, could act as a gateway to that conversation on a, on a broader scale. I think that it's, it has made me think more in terms of death my own death in particular, I'm 75 years of age. And I think that, uh, that everyone ought to have some, not to be obsessed by the, by the fact of death, but be aware of, of the fact that dying is a, is a part of living.